Jason Robertson is the biggest steal of the 2017 NHL entry draft. Although some of you may argue Kale McCarr in the comment section, I'm here today to make the case that Robertson is a bigger steal based on how many players got drafted before him and the fact that he fell a significant ways down the draft board at the United Center in 2017. Let's get to it. The 2017 NHL entry draft was a weird year. The consensus for who would be the top pick fell between Swiss center Nico Hischier and Canadian center Nolan Patrick. Although the Colorado Avalanche were the worst team in the 2016-17 regular season, they would fall to pick number 4 behind New Jersey, Philadelphia, and Dallas. This would prove to be a blessing in disguise as ultimately, Hishir would go number 1 to Jersey, Patrick unfortunately would go number 2 against all scouting recommendations made to Ron Hextall, Philadelphia GM at the time, and Dallas would pick Miro Heiskanen at number 3. Kale McCarr would be gifted to the Colorado Avalanche at number 4, but the player who may have been the biggest surprise not to have his name called on draft night for round 1 is Jason Robertson. Playing for the Kingston Frontenacs in his 16 year old season, Robo would put up 18 goals, 14 assists for 32 points in 54 games. This would improve tremendously in his draft eligible year to 42 goals, 39 assists, 81 points in just 68 OHL games. Many scouts projected Robertson to be drafted in the first round despite his below average skating and speed. What many teams failed to realize was that Robertson was one of the most complete offensive forwards in this entire draft because speed and skating were the bread and butter of the NHL, freshly taken over by speedsters like Connor McDavid and Nathan McKinnon. So apart from Hishir, Patrick, Heiskanen, and Makar, 34 other players still ended up selected by multiple franchises before Robertson. Looking back at it, if you ask any of the 24 teams if they would pick Robertson over their current selections, 99% of them would likely say yes. This is with the exception of Colorado probably being the only team that would stick to their selections before Robertson, but to show a better visual representation of this, I decided to organize the following 38 players into categories of superstars, top end NHLers, NHL players, below average players, and busts. And this is how the following turned out. Kale McCarr is the only player not drafted by Dallas and before Robertson that I decided to put in the superstar category. Of course, Robo's teammates in Miro Heiskanen and Jake Ottinger have become foundational pieces for the Dallas Stars organization and have brought new life to a team that would otherwise be much worse off than they currently are. Props to Dallas for knocking this draft out of the park. Moving on to the top end category of this draft, names like Nico Heeshear, Elias Pettersson, Martin Natchez, Nick Suzuki, and Robert Thomas fall into this group. The NHL player category is a much larger group as a handful of players from this first round and a half in 2017 have become full-time NHLers. Of course, every draft also has their misses, poorly developed players, and even just duds. And that's where the following guys fell between below average and full on busts. Unfortunately for some teams, these selections did severely impact their franchises with guys like Nolan Patrick and Lias Anderson both getting selected in the top 10 of this draft. So looking at the teams that truly missed on selecting superstar Jason Robertson, the first is the Vegas Golden Knights. Vegas made four selections before Jason Robertson was off the board, picking Cody Glass, Nick Suzuki, Eric Brandstrom, and Nicholas Hag. The only player that has actually worked out for Vegas is Hag, as they traded away a potential superstar in Suzuki who is now flourishing in Montreal. Imagine how scary Vegas would have been if they had held on to Nick Suzuki as well as drafted Jason Robertson instead of some of those other players. Couple that with the way their team is playing this year and oh my goodness. Next up for biggest losers on missing Robertson are the Philadelphia Flyers. Not to spite Philly fans, but your GM screwed your team over hard at this draft. Sure, the Nolan Patrick miss instead of drafting Kale McCarr was bad. 
but also selecting Morgan Frost and Isaac Ratcliffe before Jason Robertson just adds insult to injury. And to finalize some other teams that missed hard on Robertson, we have seven teams that each made two selections before Robo was off the board in the Avalanche, Blues, Canucks, Devils, Rangers, Red Wings, and Sabres. But the teams that are definitely hurting the most from not drafting Robertson out of this group are definitely the Vancouver Canucks and the Detroit Red Wings at the current moment. Imagine Robo in a Canucks or Wings jersey today. The NHL would be a very different place than it currently is. Although hindsight is 2020, falling to pick 39 has proven to be a huge benefit for Robertson, who has thrived and grown into an absolute offensive juggernaut being one of the only two players in this entire draft to be over a point per game. But why do you guys think Robertson fell so hard in 2017? And which teams do you think need Robertson the most today? Let me know in the comments below.